New arms for the Atlas Boston Dynamics robot. Bionic arms its abilities, Atom Touch. Boston Dynamics is known for the flashy videos that showcase its robot performing impressive feats. There is no doubt that Boston Dynamics' most popular creation is Atlas, a humanoid robot that has become well known for its ability to leap over obstacles, do backflips, and dance. It is not uncommon for videos of Boston Dynamics robots to go viral, accumulating millions of views on YouTube and generating discussions on social media sites. In its latest video, the robotics company shows Atlas successfully running a parkour track. Within hours of its release, it received hundreds of thousands of views and became one of the top 10 trends on US Twitter. So what's new in this version of Atlas? Well, stay tuned to the end of this video and find out. Hey everyone, welcome to AI Future Life, a perfect channel for everything about the innovation in AI. Hit the like button and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. And with that being said, let's begin. In its official capacity, Boston Dynamics is a for-profit organization. One of the company's goals is to commercialize its technology and sell products. The reality is that Boston Dynamics is the brainchild of engineers and scientists who want to push the boundaries of science regardless of the benefits that might accrue to the company's commercial success. It is very difficult to align these two goals, which is evidenced by the fact that Boston Dynamics has changed ownership several times in the past decade, going from Google to SoftBank to Hyundai. The company is working hard to develop a successful business model, and it has already released a number of commercial robots, including Spot, a multi-purpose robot dog, and Stretch, a mobile robot arm that can move boxes. The two technologies have found several interesting applications in different industries, and Boston Dynamics may have the ability to turn them into profitable ventures with Hyundai's manufacturing capabilities. The Atlas project, on the other hand, does not belong to Boston Dynamics' commercial projects. The company describes it as a research platform, and this is not because humanoid biped robots are not commercially useful. Throughout history, humans have designed their homes, cities, factories, offices, and objects to enable their bodies to fit into them. There is a belief that a bipedal robot that is able to walk on surfaces and handle objects as we do would have an unlimited number of uses and would be one of the most lucrative business opportunities for the robotics industry. Basically, the proposed robot offers a lot of advantages over the current mobile robots, which are limited by their environment, flat surfaces, uniform lighting, flat objects, etc., or require their environment to be changed to accommodate their limitations. On the other hand, biped robots are also tough to build. Even Atlas, which is by far the most advanced biped robot, is still a long way from reaching the smooth and versatile motor skills of humans. As well as a look at some of the failures in the new Atlas video shows the vast gap that still needs to be filled. In both humans and animals, learning and growth are intertwined. As your body and brain develop, you learn to crawl, stand, walk, run, jump, and participate in sports. However, growing robots is not possible, at least for the foreseeable future. Robot engineers start with a fully developed robot, which is iteratively adjusted as they experiment with it, and must teach it all the skills necessary to use its body efficiently. As in many other scientific fields, engineers seek to avoid replicating nature in full detail by taking shortcuts, creating models, and optimizing for goals. As for Atlas, Boston Dynamics engineers and scientists believe that optimizing the robot for parkour will allow the robot to demonstrate the nuances of bipedal motor skills and create sensational videos on YouTube that get millions of views. Boston Dynamics said in its blog post, a robot's ability to do a backflip may never be useful in any commercial setting, but you don't need much imagination or knowledge of your industry to see why it would be helpful for Atlas to be able to perform the same range of movements and physical tasks as humans. When robots can respond to their environment with the same level of dexterity as an adult human, the possibilities are virtually limitless. So the idea is, if you can get a robot to do backflips, jump across platforms, vault over barriers, and run on very narrow paths, then you've taught it all the other basic movements and physical skills that humans possess. According to the blog, parkour, as narrow and specific as it may seem, is a great sandbox to experiment with new behaviors. It's a whole body activity that requires Atlas to maintain its balance in different situations and seamlessly switch between one behavior and another. The evolution of Atlas has been nothing short of impressive. Apart from the flashy moves, it shows some pretty interesting fundamental abilities, like adjusting its balance when it makes an awkward landing. 
Boston Dynamics says their engineers have also generalized Atlas's behavior by providing it with a set of template behaviors, such as jumping and vaulting, and letting it adapt them to new situations. Despite that, the robot still struggles with some very basic skills found in all primates. For example, in some cases, Atlas falls flat on its face when it misses a jump or loses its balance. During such a fall, primates instinctively extend their arms to soften the blow and protect their head, neck, eyes, and other vital parts. All of these skills are learned long before we run on narrow ledges or jump off platforms. An environment like the parkour track helps find and fix these challenges faster than a flat, simple environment would. However, physical world experience is one of the biggest challenges in robotics. That's what the Atlas video shows. When Atlas gets damaged, engineers have to fix it. This cycle drives up costs and slows down training. Scale is another problem with robot training. Atlas, for example, requires a huge amount of training, orders of magnitude more than a human would. I don't think Atlas could do the parkour track thousands of times without years of training and huge repairs and adjustments. And of course, the research team could cut training time by running multiple prototypes simultaneously. However, this would mean big investments in gear and real estate. And the alternative to the real world training is simulated learning. Computer engineers create three dimensional environments so robots can be trained quickly without the cost of a physical environment. Simulated training is becoming a key component of robotics and autonomous cars, and there are several virtual environments for training embodied AI. However, virtual worlds are just an approximation of the real world. The robots are always missing small details that can make a big difference, and they don't eliminate the need for training in the physical world. The physical world exposes some of the challenges that are nearly impossible to simulate in a virtual environment, such as falling off an unstable ledge or having the tip of the foot stuck in a crevice. There are several cases like that in the Atlas video. A notable example is when Atlas reaches a barrier and uses its arm to vault over it. It's a simple routine that doesn't require a ton of strength. Though Atlas manages the feat, its arm shakes weirdly. Scott Quindersma, Atlas team lead, said, If you or I were to vault over a barrier, we would take advantage of certain properties of our bodies that would not translate to the robot. For example, the robot has no spine or shoulder blades, so it doesn't have the same range of motion that you or I do. The robot also has a heavy torso and comparatively weak arm joints. However, such details are hard to simulate and require real-world testing. Boston Dynamics says, Atlas uses perception to find its way around. The company's website says that Atlas uses depth sensors to generate point clouds and detect its surroundings. That's like the technology used in self-driving cars to detect roads, objects, and people. This is another shortcut that the AI community has been taking. Normally, human vision doesn't rely on depth sensors in order for us to map out our environment. The company uses stereo vision, parallax motion, intuitive physics, and feedback from all our senses. Our perception of the world isn't perfect and can be skewed, but it's good enough to make us good at navigating the physical world most of the time. So it'll be interesting to see if the vision and depth sensors alone can get Atlas up to par with humans, or if Boston Dynamics has to develop a more complex sensory system to get Atlas to the level of humans. There's still a long way to go for Atlas. One problem is that the robot will need hands if it's supposed to handle objects, which is very challenging. Atlas probably won't be commercial anytime soon, but it's giving Boston Dynamics and the robotics industry a platform for learning about the challenges nature has solved. So yeah, this was a little video about the amazing robot Atlas. And if you like to know more about other robots, then comment down your request. If you like the video, then press the thumbs up button. And for more updates, subscribe to our channel. And we'll catch you soon. Until then, peace.